Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon to you. Welcome to Project 365. This is day 23, and we are blessed to be here with you. And I want to, right about now, welcome my co-host, my co host <laughs> Hello, everyone. I am really happy to have her with me. And in a moment, we will introduce our guest. Today, we just want to, first of all, ask you to, don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I wanted to also uh, let you know who you're subscribing to. My name is Portia Wheatley. I am the founder and president of Trophy of Life Incorporated. We have the vision of sharing hope and encouragement to the world, hope and encouragement to the world. And we are committed to bringing messages of hope, encouragement, and inspiration. Well, today, my guest is Master Marcus McClammy. Hello. Hi, Marcus. Hello. I am so glad to have him with us today. He's a really nice young guy, mannerly, um, smart, all of that. And I'm just so grateful to have him. He's, a, he's my neighbor. He's a great guy. You know, I've worked in the school system for tw almost 20 years, about 19 and a half years. And I worked on the high school level as well as the middle school level. And um, that was a challenge then for the young people. And today that we live in, it really is a challenge. And today I wanted to take the time out to speak with young people to see what are you thinking? Where's your mind? What do you think about what's going on? So I decided the first person that I would start with would be my friend, Marcus. How are you doing, Marcus? Good. You doing good? Yeah. Look, let me see if I can get some answers out of here and not <laughs> just one word answers. I know it's coming. How old are you, Marcus? Eight year old, eight and I'm about to turn nine. About to turn eight. nine, when is your birthday? February 1st in nine days. Ooh, nine days. All right. All right. I'll tell you what, you're, you're a really nice young man, and I'm really happy to have you as my neighbor. I've known Marcus since he was born, right? Yeah. <laughs> since he was born. Look, tell me, how do you feel about what has happened in year 2020? What um, do you feel? Good. You feel good? How, what was your experience? Let me let me put you on blast. Nope. Let me see. Give me a second. What was your experience with um, the election? What were you thinking when you saw those people going into the White House like they did? I felt good to get Trump out of the way and Biden, Biden gave me our new, like, president of the United States now. And uh, oh. You like Biden being in? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did you have any thoughts about um, Trump or some of the things that he did? You think he was a nice man? I didn't think he was that nice. He was being a mean to the coronavirus and such as saying it's fake. It's, no. Trump is gone, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, he's gone. Like, let him go. Let him go. Bring in, bring in someone that's going to be nice and take care of the people and yeah. yeah, do what's right for the people. I hear that you had, um, you experienced COVID. What was that experience like? It's so good because I didn't have no one to bother me. And the one thing I was mad about, I couldn't leave my room. Can you talk up just a little bit louder? I can talk up just a little bit louder. I couldn't, the one thing I was mad about, I couldn't leave my room without a mask or gloves. So that was the hard part of it. And I couldn't see my little, brother and sister because they're going to stay away from this after coronavirus. So, yeah. They what? They, they're going to have to stay away from me because... Right, right. Did you lose your appetite or your, the, your yeah. sense? You yeah. didn't? 
So you were really, you were still eating. Yeah. I was, That's good. <laughs> were you afraid that your family might catch it? Not really, because I knew that we're a strong family. We can hold up a bunch of stuff. That I can witness to. That is a strong family. And his mom, I just like to call her superwoman. She's she's lovable. She loves her children like no get out, I'm telling you. And um, they don't get away with anything either, do you, Marcus? <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. She's, she's a great mother. She's a great mother. Look, um, let's see, Marcus. Now you said you were no, you were eight years old, right? Yes. So that puts you in what grade? Third grade. Third grade. Third grade. How do you like that home teaching? It's pretty good. I like it because you can just stay home and you don't have to get ready all the time. And you can just you know, take breaks, you can just go, <laughs> walk out of the room, and come back. You <laughs> rushed. You don't have to sit there and look at the board all day and pick up your pencil all day and write on a cool desk. So your teacher is, you like your teacher? Yeah. Oh, and her name is? Her name is Miss Salama. Say it again? Miss Salama. Okay, just in case she might be listening. Let her know, we'll let her know that you like her and her name is whatever you just said. <laughs> Miss Salama. Miss Salama? Yeah. Oh, okay. Miss Salama, okay. got it. And he okay. is a very good teacher. He is? Yes. That's good. That's really good. That's and, really good. Yeah, like when we have like one more thing to do, she says, it's okay, I'm not grading that part. I'm just grading one part. And then she just, you can cross it out or you can just turn it in if you want to. So if you get out of your missing assignments oh you get out of missing assignments like she says like if you only have like two more parts to go and she says we're not i'm not grading that part i just want you to do it for practice and then she says turn it in so it doesn't show up when you're missing assignments oh well she uh, she sounds like yeah she's very fair sounds like she's very fair that's a good thing that's a good thing look let me ask you this um now, I know your mom is of the Caucasian persuasion, and I know your father is a uh, Black man. So how do you feel being an interracial child? Oh, that feels sad because they have to be a part, and we're going to have to drive these houses to houses, and then house to house again. And it's just sad that they have to be a part of each other. But yeah. But you, and the good like part about it is that you know they love you, right? Yeah. So what do you think about, um, you know, the things that are going on with black people and white people and not getting along or being mistreated? What do you think? I think that's not right because we all are the same there's no different about us we're all people we all have blood we all have veins we all have a brain we all have hair the nose mouth eyes and wow that's well, not the same it doesn't mean we're different people not an alien or something right so your part is to whether you're black or whether you're white is to show love. You think, what do you think yeah. about that? Yeah. 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 So in your, um, what about your little sister and brother? They, they need to be treated the same. You think? Yes. They're, they're, they're both like the same people. They understand, they understand each other they're twins and they know what they do. If one of them are sad, they go up there and help. Oh. Most of the times. Not most, most of the time. Time. <laughs> 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 
But you know what? That comes from having a really good mom, you think? What do you think about your mom? Tell me what you think about your mom. She's not good. She's the best mom. Yeah! Oh! I'm talking about. (laughs) That's what I'm talking about. And she is. I mean, you know, um, Jennifer has always been there for me. Your mom has always been there for me, and I appreciate that. We've pretty much been there for each other. So I really do appreciate that. So uh, I remember one time in particular, a situation had happened and um, I made the statement of, uh, they dare not come for me. And Jennifer was like, oh no, they better not come for you because she was gonna step right on in. <laughs> I'm taking a mess, I gotta give it to the girl. She doesn't take any mess, but she's so loving and caring. She's so loving and caring. Jennifer Pyatt, I appreciate you. So that is so good, Marcus. You might get an extra something just because you say you got the best mom. You got the best mom. (laughs) That's a good thing. What do you want to be when you grow up? Okay, we're just talking about this like uh, two days ago. Okay. Or like yesterday or I think like, I don't know, but I said. (laughs) What? This is just a joke. But what I said is I want to be a carrot when I grew up. A what? A carrot. A carrot? Marcus, how are you going to be a carrot? What you mean? What do you mean? Give me orange, give me all orange clothes, dye my hair green, I'm a carrot. <laughs> but that's not okay. what Okay, well, if you want to be a carrot, you be a carrot. But what about you? I want to be when I grow up. I want to be a YouTuber, a famous YouTuber. I'm sorry, what? A famous YouTuber. I want to be a famous YouTuber. Yes. Very interesting. Because some of the things that we say, children say, or young people say when they want to grow up, they want to be this or that. And it may sound a little different to us, but the work that is involved in it is very strategic. So, Mm -hmm. yeah. You do, do you do any YouTubing now? No. I still have to do editing and stuff. That's the worst part of being YouTube. We have to edit. Yeah. See, that's work. That is work. So whatever you just know, whatever you want to grow up to be, you can do it. You can do it. I do make videos on my phone a bunch. I do make videos on my phone a bunch. Oh, really? That's good. That's that's what you need to get started. So that's really good. Yeah. Cool beans. I know, um, I think it was maybe sometime last year, we, you were talking about, um, you were telling me about some fast cars. What kind of cars do you like? Mostly I like, now I like GTRs and GTRs. What are GTRs? You have to see, remember, I'm a little older than you. GTRs. Seven, no, Google your phone, type in. Talk a little bit louder. Talk a he little said, bit louder. I said, said Google, Google it. Yeah, Google on your phone. What is a GTR? And then I'll show you a picture of a GTR. My dream car is a blue GTR. Okay. Okay. Oh. Takira, you know what he's talking about? Yeah, actually, I do. You know, this car is actually one of my friends' like dream cars as well. So it's by Nissan, okay? And I'll show you a picture of it so you can see. Yeah, that's it's like a sports a, car. He wants a blue a one. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. I tell you that it, that it, if you want to be, if you want to be the YouTuber and make all of that money from being a YouTuber, then you can get that car that you want. That, and help my family. And, yes. and what? And help my family. See, that's what I love. See, that's <laughs> what I'm talking about. He's. Marcus is so intelligent and he's he now at eight years old, he's talking about helping his family. And I must say, um, his family is one that uh, actually take the time to spend time with, with him and with his other siblings. One of the things that I did want to say that young people, children, you, the parents have to take time to talk with them, not talk down to them, not talk uh, in a manner of, that you don't care about what they think is so important. And you can tell children where uh, their parents invest time in them or they grow like a wild weed. 
Um, when you take time and see children, recognize children, uh, respect children in the sense of um, their conversation and don't make them think that their conversation is crazy or stupid. Believe mm -hmm. me, at, you were entertaining those types of conversations when you were a child, maybe a little different, but it didn't always make sense to your parents. So, but I must say, um, Marcus, you're a great young man. You're a great young man. You're so pretty you cool. Do. <laughs> like we do grab around to a family sometimes. One time that we're playing on a Nintendo Switch, like a long time ago last night, well, like a long time ago at nighttime, we gathered around and just played on the Nintendo Switch in the living room. Okay, so you do those kinds of things in the house with mom and Zoe and Raiden and Rain. Rain. Yeah. Good. Good for you. I love. I love family time. Family time is very, very important. And if our families do not take time with our young people, believe me, they will find that out on the street. They will find some things to do on the street. They will find things that are not good for them on the street. So please take time with your young people. Take time with your children. Take time to spend with them and let them know how important they are. Take time to find out what is on their minds. When we don't talk to them and they uh, keep those thoughts within, it's not always a good thing. They'll come out in uh, some of the negative things that they think about and keep inside will come out in their actions. So, so please, again, uh, always think about uh, your children. Think about what you can do to, for them and to them to help them to be a better person. When I worked in the school system again, and I'm not saying this for everyone, but when I worked in the school system, we had some children that were somewhat difficult. And when we met their parents, we knew why they were difficult. So I'm asking you, parents, take time out with your children. Love them. Let them know. When was the last time you told them, I love you? Some of the children in our communities, in our families, and whether it's... Um, Anywhere, many places that we go, they never heard their parents or people that they really care for say, I love you and that you matter. So I want you to know that. Marcus, you matter. You really yeah. matter. Just like that saying, Black lives matter. All lives matter. But Black lives matter. White lives matter. Hispanic lives matter. All lives matter. So uh, again, Marcus, I'm so glad you're here. Takira might have something to share with us. Hold on for a minute. Well, I just want to say that it was such a pleasure meeting you. Um, I do think you're cool. And I do think the car you like is very cool as well. And um, I just want you to know that if you just really um, just focus and stick to what you want to do, then you can accomplish anything. Like it doesn't matter if people say, nah, you can't do it or you're too young or you know, you're not the right color. It doesn't matter because you know who you are. You're very, very smart. And if you just put in the work, you can do whatever you want. Even if you did want to just be a carrot when you get older, you can do that <laughs> if you wanted to. But you can do anything you want. So don't forget that, okay? Like, you have to promise me, just don't forget it. Don't let anybody put you down and tell you that you can't do something because you know you can do it, okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, once again, we just want to thank you for joining us. Thank you again for joining us. Don't forget to go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. We will be bringing you some messages that you may not have had anyone else discuss with you. There is no topic that is off um, off the chains in the sense of if it's out there, we definitely want to talk about it. Okay. Um, if you need any information, feel free to go to our website, www.trophyoflife.org or send me an email, Portia at trophyoflife.org or info at trophyoflife.org. Okay. I do believe that is it. Matter of fact, before we leave, before we leave, Wish Marcus a happy birthday. Those that are listening, those that are in the chat room, send Marcus a happy birthday. M-A-R-K-U-S. 
All right. Yeah. Send him a happy birthday so he can go back and and check out what you just put in. All right. Yeah. It is. Our, <laughs> we just want to encourage, encourage, encourage. Send hope and inspiration. Thank you, Marcus, for being such a great guest. And we will check with you later on. And um, guess who we're going to have on tomorrow, Takira? You have to tune in to find out. Always tune in and find out. And definitely, you will enjoy the platform. Project 365 has done it again. And we're blessing God for the same. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye, Marcus. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.